The School District of Lee County and Lee Schools TV present Replay, a quick recap of the most recent scores and highlights from around the district. Leading things off is girls swimming. The combination of Danny Jordan, Alina Fonts, Caitlin Hauser, and Paige Madden leads Estero to a victory over Baron Collier. Shifting to boys bowling, Ida Baker remains undefeated as Tyler Turnbull scores a 218 to help the Bulldogs defeat Dunbar 5-0. Over at the next lane in girls bowling, Mallory Burner tops the Wolfpack with a high score of 181 as South Fort Myers beat Mariner 4-1. Caitlin McBride turned in a 152 for the Tritons. In boys golf at Cypress Lake Country Club, Michael Junkin and Cole Mathai shoot a 26 to help the host Panthers defeat East Lee County. Turning to girls volleyball, Amy Oxton had 33 assists and 14 digs to lead Fort Myers over Charlotte. On the gridiron this week, it was a District 5A-14 showdown as Island Coast grabbed firm control of the district race with a 23-3 win over host Cape Coral. The Gator defense intercepted Seahawks quarterback Dylan Bontrager six times. Elsewhere, Fort Myers avenged last season's loss with a 41-25 victory over Port Charlotte at Edison Stadium. Green Wave senior running back Terrence Moore extended his school record streak of consecutive 100-yard rushing games to 11, finishing with 21 carries for 143 yards and three touchdowns. And on a night honoring legendary Red Knight coach Ron Hoover, it was North Fort Myers with a 35-0 win over Cypress Lake at Moody Field. The Red Knight defense for six turnovers, including a 100-yard interception return by junior defensive back Jaravian Anderson. Finally, congratulations and welcome back to Tavares Gary, who was named the new baseball coach at North Fort Myers High School. Coach Gary, class of 2000, was a three-year letterman for the Red Knights and was drafted in the 25th round by the St. Louis Cardinals in 2003. Good luck, Coach Gary, and that's this week's replay.